magic man, the tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, and pastor coming back at you again with another quick video. Okay, people, I've already done uh, the greatness, what makes Pete Sampras great, what makes Nadal great, what makes Federer great, what makes the Djokovic great. And I told y'all that the the thing that made the major thing that made Sampras and Federer great was that they could up the level meaning like I said before if they were equal equal with their opponent at level 7 they could go up level uh, 7 8 9 10 uh, 11 12 and just wax the guy out the court okay and I said Nadal he didn't quite do that that level of discipline le level of discipline he did another level of discipline what Nadal would do was just step in there let's just say uh, let's just say Nadal's opponent was at level 10 Nadal would just step in there at this superior level level 12 like he did against Kevin Anderson here in the US this past US Open and the Dow has done that for many uh, majors and that's why he has 16 that's just not going up in level just stepping there at a high level and then I said the Djokovic could do both he could do what Sampras and and Federer could do that is go up 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 in levels and the Djokovic could also do what Nadal could do he could just step in there at a high level so I was thinking which one of those, if you had to choose, uh, I know the Djokovic got both, but if you had to choose, would you rather have what's that level, dis the level discipline number one, the one where you continuously increase the level, what Sampras and Federer had, meaning like I said before, if they are at level seven and their opponent is at level seven, that they could go level eight, nine, ten, and then wax their opponent off the court, or would you rather have what Nadal, uh, uh, have have will you rather have what Nadal has and has had that superior level where you just step in there at a superior level and win the French Open or whatever all the majors that Nadal has won so which one of those will you rather have and there are, there are advantages and disadvantages with both so let me just try to answer for myself which one of those will I rather have okay man I mean, man, both of those are good things to have. They're going up, up, up in levels like Sampras and Federer. But the disadvantage of that is that you may not be able to get up. Suppose you can't get up in the level. Okay, so that's a disadvantage with that. Okay, or, or I would love to have what Nadal has. Just step in there at a high level. Step in there at level 12. Say your opponent's at level 9. You just step in there at level 12 totally superior to them and stay superior that's great too but here's the thing the disadvantage with that is is that if you meet a guy like the Djokovic does that level 12 with you then you remember I told y'all that was Nadal's weakness that he couldn't step step over the Djokovic they go level 13 level 14 so that's a disadvantage so probably if I had to choose you know I'm sort of I'm sort of even though I like the one Nadal got listen man that's great because that's because if you had that, if you step in there at that superior level, it's a solid. And there ain't too many of the Djokovic's around that you got to step beyond that. So that's, believe me, I'm not putting that down. I would love to have that too. But I, I think I'm intrigued, even though there's also disadvantages with the going up, 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 up. I, I'm just saying this is me now. I'm sort of more, a little, a little more, just a little more intrigued with that ability to be able to be equal with a guy and just go, Say you equal with him at level 7 and you go 8, level 9, level 10, level 12, bam, he's finished. I, I probably would take that one, but both of them are good. Both of them will win you many majors. That's why these guys, that are these great guys that I'm talking about, players that I'm talking about, they all got so many majors. So, so both of the level dis disciplines are good. And remember what I said, the Djokovic got both. He can do both of them. That's what makes him so great. Okay, people. Comment below which one which one do you think is better? Like I said before, probably neither is probably better than the other. But which one would you rather have if you were a pro? Which one do you think you could use better to your advantage? Okay, people, magic man, tennis preacher, prophet, signing off. Have a nice day.